Hello, hello, welcome viewers. This is The Narrow Path once again with Theophilus Lamte. And I can guarantee you that this month is going to be awesome. We are going to deal with a theme called oppression. Oh, wait a minute. And somebody is already freaking out because I've said oppression. Well, let me just give you another word which will sound easier to you, persecution. Yes, I'm sure you got that one right. Most believers are used to the word persecution, but when we hear oppression, we feel as if it's a little weird. But yes, um, oppression and persecution can be used interchangeably. But we are not talking about um, what actually happens. We are talking about the aim of oppression or the motive behind um, persecution. And this time around, our topic is what I call God permits persecution or God permits oppression. Yes, I'm going to give you a general overview or um, a, a basic um, understanding about what the topic is about. And then from next week, subsequently, we are going to be taking characters and scenarios from the Bible to actually appreciate why God permits oppression, how God permits oppression, who God uses to oppress us, and all of the other questions that probably are going through your mind. But I can guarantee you that an action is not as dangerous as the aim or motive behind it. Yes, the oppression or the persecution is not as dangerous in itself as the motive behind it. The motive why God will permit or allow persecution or oppression to come to the believer is that these group of people or the children of God have deviated, they've derailed from the things of God. So this is one of the channels that God uses primarily to redirect, reroute the believer or the um, a fallen believer, or I can say the believer that has gone into a state of apostasy to find his or her way back to God. And most often than not, what causes us to deviate or derail from the teachings or the principles of God is what I call disobedience. Next week, if um, Jesus tarries and God permits, I'm going to talk, take you through um, some of the possible causes of disobedience, why the Christian disobeys God. And then when we appreciate why the Christian disobeys God, we will go on to now talk about different times that God actually permitted persecution or permitted oppression to come to the believer. And we would appreciate the fact that it is all channeled at getting the heart of the people to come back to him. And because the people have fallen away from the tenets of God, they have giving way to ungodly things. They are now doing things that are not godly. So disobedience simply means that you don't trust God enough, so you want to take matters into your own hands. And this is something God takes very, very personal. So yes, just in case um, you were wondering what the theme for the month oppression is and as scary as it, is, as it might sound, this is one of the channels that God uses to draw men back onto himself. And it is because we are falling into the atmosphere sphere or the realm of disobedience. And when you fall into the realm of disobedience, God, because of the love he has for us, he is ready to do anything, no matter what it will cost him, as long as it will bring you back to appreciate the fact that he is Lord and King over our life, even if it means that you will be persecuted. We will also get to understand that God, most often than not, will use our enemies as the persecutors or the oppressors. So when the enemies are persecuting us or when the oppressors are on our heels, we should take um, a, a, a minute or two and try to analyze our life. Chances are that we've entered into disobedience and God is using these enemies to actually direct us or shape us back into our original dimension. Beloved, I can guarantee you this month is going to be explosive. It's going to be amazing. If you've not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, this might just be the finest opportunity for you to do that because the teachings that are going to come after this broadcast, I know it's going to be a blessing to you because it touched my heart when God laid it upon me and then he started to make meaning out of it. And I realized that, yes, there are a lot of things that we need to critically analyze before we start complaining. Most of the complaints we make is because we are not fulfilling our part of the covenant. God is a covenant keeping God. Whatever he has said, he will do. But it depends on whether we are able to fulfill our part of the bargain. Most often they are not. In fact, all the time, when we break our part of the covenant, as faithful as God 
is, he is not permitted to be able to make sure that the promises come to pass until we find a way to re, um, renounce these disobedience or realign with the purposes of God. And that is why God um, has to use oppression or God has to permit the oppressor to come and hit us. It's not because he hates us. It's just because of the enormous love he has for us. He will use whichever means possible. And take this from me. The devil and his courts are full-time employees of God, just that they work on pro bono basis. They don't even know. They are unaware that they are working for God, but God uses them to shape us and make us better people in this um, kingdom that we find ourselves. So it's not everything that you see that is going on around you when you are under oppression. It's not because God hates you or whatever it is. It is possible that you've fallen off the track of God and God is trying to use whichever um, things are available or whichever people are available to push you and then to redirect you back. Because if you get too comfortable, you will not obey the things of God. So when God pushes you and God allows the persecutors and the oppressors to come your way. He's trying to align you properly and then you come and fall on track again. There are a lot of stories and characters we are going to pick from. We can see a lot of them from Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. We can see some from Judges and God willing, we are going to deal with all these in the month that we find ourselves in. Like I said, the theme for the month is God permits oppression. For a better word, God permits persecution. Your life is will never be the same again. So I urge you to send this link to as many people as you can. Our YouTube channels are um, on the screen at the moment. It's Theophilus Lamte Ministries or simply Theophilus Lamte based on the um, social media platform that you want to connect with us. And I am I am pretty sure that it's going to be a great time. Send in your questions, send in your comments, whatever views that you have based on what we are studying. I would love to hear from you and together we will become better people. This has been the narrow path. So we meet again next week. Shalom, bye-bye, and stay blessed.